This unassuming little M4A1 Sherman is a little bit different than most of the other M4s that we've come across in our travels. That's because this tank is old, very old. In fact, other than Michael, this is the oldest Sherman out there. Serial number 192 from the Pressed Steel Company. And there are a couple of indicators here as to just how old this tank is. Even though to look at it, you may wonder, am I off my rocker? So for starters, if you have a look at the cast hull, you'll see it's a small hat Sherman and it retains the direct vision viewing ports. Now these went away fairly quickly. They got replaced by the retractable periscopes up top, but there's very few of these out there. The next thing you'll notice is the whole side the lower hull is riveted, not welded, like they are on most of the other M4s. The turret serial number is 345. It's an early one, again, does not have the loader's hatch up top. If you look at the running gear, the bogies are a later, heavier duty vertical value suspension system. Although it does have the mounting points for the old type sand shields. For the unwary though, there are a couple of things that throw you off and make it seem like the tank is more modern. For example, if you look at the mantlet, it is the more modern, wider type. Early mantlets were a lot narrower. However, when they realized that the sighting system for the periscope wasn't working correctly, there was a modification program put out to install a direct vision telescope through the mantlet. In order to protect it, the mantlet had to be replaced by a wider one, which in this case also covers a coaxial machine gun. Then you come down, you're going to come across the drive housing, which is a cast type instead of the three-piece differential, which is the normal indicator of an older tank. That said, this is the earlier drive housing. So the later types that you may be more familiar with from, uh, let's say, later model Shermans, the, ca the shark nose casting, though it's called, will come down a little bit further. This earlier type, it starts to fold underneath a little bit higher up. This is one of those odd and rare vehicles that you'll find at the American's Wartime Experience Collection in Knoxville, Virginia.